Hello folks, welcome to a, um, a great episode of Carl's Copters here and today we've got the SEMA X8HC, it's got altitude hold, it's a cheap drone, this is, years ago these drones were so expensive, it was unbelievable, now they come down in price, you get this from Costway, it's called Costway, and uh, it's not a bad drone, to start you off, it's got a 2 megabyte camera, brush, the brush motor's not brushless, and um, easy to put together, everything ready to fly you just got to put the legs on comes with spare props charger camera can dismount and everything else the battery's in there with it you also get a controller like this uh quite a chunky controller i've never been a fan of the, the, the design of this type of controller but it's got um altitude hold which to be honest i think it's just a spring loaded thing there's no sensors on it or anything like that and then it's got the uh it can do stunts i, I believe camera settings video recording and also it's got uh, different rates, high rates and low rates. So without further ado, let's get on with it. It's got an on and off button. So we turn it on like so. Uh, and then we're gonna calibrate it in a second. Uh, so it's easy enough to do. All right. So we turn it on with the controller. Like that. And you can see there on the screen, digital screen like this. Let's calibrate it up, down, and then the lights stop flashing. Uh, easy as peasy. So, any second, we'll, uh, we're all bind and ready to go. What we'll just do, we'll just wait for the person to walk past a little bit. It'll be a safe distance, right? See who goes. Oh, there he goes, spooling up. <laughs> I've decided. Got to get in camera shot, so I'll get it really high like that. We can't see it. The camera. I don't know if you can see that. I've got a friend who is today. <laughs> oh, you're back! Yeah, that was the first one, that. He was like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> Right, we'll swing around. I'm trying to take some pictures of it, of the uh, moon here. Where are we gone? Here we are. So the altitude hold itself ain't too bad, to be honest. It's not too bad. There's no wind today. I mean, in, in a strong wind, I, I'd imagine it's suffer. So now I've gone to a higher rate. Uh, it does fly a little bit better in higher rates, even though there's no wind. It's more responsive, which is what I like. Oh! We'll go up. 
with the access it spins around. I'm trying to get it all in camera for you folks. I prefer it in high rates, even though there's I hope you can see this drone. We're going to bring it in forward. And do some speed this thing. Anyway, looks great there. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to do some more experiments with this drone, but it's so cold out here today. And uh, running out of daylight. I just thought I'd get this done. It's from Cosway. Bring it in a bit closer for you, folks. There you go. There it is. Looks great with the moon behind. Right, we're going to bring this in for a landing. It hasn't got automatic takeoff or landing or anything like that. We'll bring it a bit nearer. And then, what I'm going to do, Bring it in. We're going to bring it in now for landing. Keep the sticks down and it shuts down just like that. Okay, so that was the flight review. So let's go and see what's in the box. So you get a great big box like this. Nice big heavy duty box. And the good thing is it's laid out really well. As I can move the camera over for you. You can see here the controls. Nicely displayed. You also get that in the manual as well. So just 360 degree flips and stunts, 6 axis gyro stabilizer, headless mode, flashing lights, 2.4 gigahertz frequency, hover function and a HD camera. So let's see what you're getting. I've obviously built one up already. So we're going to have a quick look at what's in the box. And uh, here we go. So in the box, it's absolutely huge. This box. So I'm trying to I'm trying to jiggle everything around here, folks. As you can see there. <coughs> right. So here's, here it is, all opened up well presented well packaged and everything so everything's clearly done for you so we'll lift this protective screen off like this and then we'll start from the left and work our way across so what you get you get a spur set of blades eight blades as well and then down below here get it out you get the camera and the best of it is you get the camera there look and the best of it is it comes with a little sd card as well Hold on. I'll put your camera there so we can have a proper look. Clips in, little jacks plug, 
and it's four gigabyte camera uh, SD card which is great stuff already pre-installed there's the camera there it's nothing fantastic but it'll probably do the job right so I put that back in I don't know where it goes then you get the guard uh, but I can't even speak then <clears throat> hold on I've got a bit throaty today anyway you get the um, propeller guards here you get four of those like that and then you also get four of these legs and you've got a little tab there at the top of the legs and then you've just got to screw it in which I'll get up to that in a second screw those so I'll put those back like this and then also as we're working our way across everything's well packed I tell you really well packed then as you work our way across you get the quadcopter itself I was going to say a drone but really it's not more of a drone really it's more of a quadcopter because uh, it's old school flying there's no GPS on it or anything like that and the altitude hold realistically as we found in the uh, video it's basically the uh, accelerator is just centered that's all it is so it keeps it in that steady position um so there it is on and off switch underneath the slidey bit there that's where your camera to fit in there the lights and the motors are um brushed motors they're not brushless if they were brushless it'd be really expensive this i've got brushless stuff as well and um, in here the battery is in here like i said all you've got to do is pop the legs on there's the battery in there like that it's really easy and speaking of the battery i will put this back in here like so speaking of batteries I'm trying to make some more room here we haven't got enough room in this the box is huge balance charger there with a little plug balance charger there see with a plug part there and the connector a bit of an air vent there going on and then you've got the controller then you've got the controller as well and then uh, everything's a nice tight bit in here there's a the controller you've got to buy batteries for the controller obviously the four channel controller in here let's move move everything over a little bit in here this is where your charger is and the best of it is if you're in the uk like i am what an absolute bonus that is there's the uk plug mate and it goes straight into that balance charge charges it up nicely fantastic you had to get those adapters they were like no i always felt they never charged that well but anyway here's what it is here's the controller here's the controller bit of a safety warning issue thing I'm reminding you about uh after a minute normal blah 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 tell it about temperature and all that anyway that's um the controller here as it is and i'll go through it quickly okay so you've got high and low rates which is this button which is this button here high and low rates and headless mode left function lever is accelerator and it'd be hands free take a video it's press down on this tab there press down press up take a picture fine tuning for sideways just a trim tab there left and right left and right trim tab there as well forward and back we're trimming and then you've got the directional forward back left and right this button this button here that's to do the flips this is the indicator power switch antenna obviously and then just a display on the, on this bit here it tells you about the battery and all that at the back opens up dead easy four double a batteries and that's it what does the controller feel like it's okay a bit chunky plastic yeah uh, i prefer it if it's a different color to be fair but beggars can't be choosers i mean I don't know. perhaps black gray whatever anyway so that's it that's the cma x8 hc the hc stands for uh, basically hovering and things like that altitude hold <clears throat> and it's in gold so there you go and coming up shortly i'm going to do another video soon on another drone and it's going to be called where are you this bad boy 
the CX33 Chearson HD with FPV. Look at that. And that, I'm going to give away one of these as well in a competition. I mean, look at that. Free competition, folks. So that's coming up shortly. So don't forget to subscribe if you've already watched this. Check it out. Thanks very much.